today I'm going to take you on a tour of our RV. We have a 2019 Forest River Sierra 372 LOK. So when we re fully renovated it, we bought it new and then renovated it. So come on in and I'll take you on the interior first and then we'll do the exterior. All right. This is our dining, living, kitchen area. First off, we'll talk about the dining. So this originally, I'll do some flashbacks here of befores. There was a table this way and boo seat, boo seat. So we took all that out. We bought butcher block we hollowed out the underside to make it lighter weight and then we got these benches off of amazon they happen to fit perfect i like measuring and seeing if i can make something work i love them because they have lots of storage so two of our girls clothes are in here by the way, if you didn't know yet, we are a family of 12. So there's mom, dad, and 10 kids living in here. So as we go, I'll show you how I organize everything and how all of us organize everything as we go. In the back bench, I've got the boys bedding. In this bench, we've got another one of our daughter's clothes, and all our puffer jackets. Up here we keep, we write birth, special birthday stuff for each kid in a journal. So we keep our special journals up here. And then we have our crafty, artsy stuff here. Here we have toy storage. This is kind of our little kids tend to use what's in here. And this was just dead space even before we renovated. So figured might as well make use of that space. Here is our fireplace area. This was flat when we bought it and had a TV. And when we were renovating and painting, so we painted the whole RV, woodwork, and walls. And we took the shelf out to paint and we saw all this dead space back here. And I thought, ooh, we can't waste that space. So <laughs> I talked Ryan into cutting into that. And here we go. This is a product. We're both happy with it. These shelves are so deep. We installed these in the back games paper plates, more games, toys, Legos, hoodies, and I don't even know which jackets and cups. So we keep a ton of stuff up there, which I love, and I love the way it looks. Here beside the fireplace are our, we have two boys and eight girls. Our boys, the living room is kind of their bedroom. So they each have a cabinet to keep some of their personal stuff in. Most of our kids love reading, so they have wanted a lot of books in here. Here is our living room area. We love it because it's pretty sufficient in size for our family, believe it or not. We put a cover over the sofa and one of our sons sleeps on the sofa. Before we renovated, we had a sofa bed that came with it. And we talked to the boys when we were renovating and they said, honestly, we'd rather just have a pull-out mattress and sleep on the sofa because that's easier than having to fold out a bed and fold it up every day and the bed really was in fact comfortable anyway. So they've been happy with the solution. One son sleeps here. We got this day bed mattress from Urban Outfitters, I think, and the other son sleeps on that and they're happy with that. So we're happy. We have all this storage up here which we keep kitchen stuff in so that is nice as you can see i can barely reach it so i either have to get a step stool or have ryan get stuff down for me from out there 
but still nice to have. Let's see. Our shades. I have a lot of people ask about our shades. We did order custom shades. They're really nice. You can get blackout or light filtering. We've got light filtering. They are the brand, if you can zoom in on that, is Levelor. And I ordered that from Lowe's. I just took measurements, or actually Ryan took measurements, and then I plugged all that in on Lowe's website. We had seen these in store, so I knew I liked them, and then ordered them. It was pretty simple. Uh, they do do discounts sometimes, and so they are a little pricey if you buy them full price. I know we got a discount on them. Um, over here, we've got a love seat, and under here, we took advantage of the space. And each of our sons has one of these. And they keep all their clothes in there. And so it's, they're nice and deep and easily fit out of their clothes. And then up here we keep a slew of things. I've got hair cutting stuff, medicine, iPads, stuff like that. Here is our kitchen area. And this is our pantry. It's got really pretty good space. I love that the drawers totally pull out. And for our family of 12, we can fit a whole week's worth of groceries in there, which is pretty awesome. And let's see, over here we've got our stove. We have our baby Keurig, which we love. We had a big one at the house. We just got a baby one for in here and it works fine. And down here, a little additional storage, which we just keep a little toolkit, step stool, that kind of stuff. In the island, you've got storage as well, which we keep our utensils and towels, pot holders, stuff like that. Trash can under here. I like the two-sided sink. We keep dirty dishes in here and keep that covered during the day so we don't have to see them. And then just keep this open and free throughout the day. Something I love about our RV that most RVs do not have is the residential size fridge. So it's huge, same as a house. And we can fit everything we desire in there which is nice. These are like our junk drawers. Everybody's gotta have a junk drawer, right? These have everything like name labels, stamps, pins, Sharpies, scissors, um, everything you would consider that you'd put in your junk drawer. They're in those baskets up there. So when we're like, where is that thing? We're like, probably the junk baskets. So yeah. Okay, here. Well, I'll say this, um, this is the control panel. We don't have anything on right now um, as far as AC or heat because it's a nice day. We don't need anything on, but um, we have two air conditioners in here, which is really nice. I like that. And our fireplace, it turns on and it's pretty, but it also emits heat if you want it to. So we do use that during the winter and like that. This is the mid bunk room. Above it, you can see there's a loft as well. We really like this layout and I think it's a pretty cool layout. So, in here, our oldest daughter sleeps here. All of our kids are young. Our kids are ages 13 down to a two year old. So their bodies are small, keep in mind. And I don't know, my husband's pretty tall. He's 6'1", I'm 5'4", and apparently all of our children take after me, we think. They're all very short, which is really helpful in an RV. So we can fit lots of bodies. Um, so our oldest daughter sleeps here, and then we have three little girls who are six, five, and four that sleep here. These fold out comes all the way out to this cabinet, so it's really good size. Sleeping, and they love it. It's like a slumber party every night. Um, our, this is our oldest daughter's got some storage of her personal things here. 
Um, our little girls have all their little stuff, I don't know, little things they've accumulated and collected along the way there. And we keep their bedding in that basket so it's nice and out of the way during the day. Yes, we have four <laughs> laundry hampers. We need those. We're a family of 12. So we've got rainbows, that's what our kids call them, colors, white, jeans, and towels. They, I did all the laundry yesterday, which is a rarity. And two of these are almost full already again. So that shows you how much laundry we go through. Here we've got all our homeschooling stuff. A lot, I mean, there's tons of storage in here, which is really awesome. And then we have all our little girls' clothes in here, these drawers, and in the cabinets here. Here, I won't show you, they probably wouldn't appreciate it, but we've got undergarments. For each girl has their own baskets, and they've got their undergarments in there. Here we just use magazine racks for storage, and... I think that's it for in here. This is when you first walk in the RV, which is nice. We keep all our cleaning stuff here, baby diapers there. And then this is our control panel. We can see, monitor our tanks and put the awning out, put the slides out and in, that type of thing here. Here is a ladder to the loft. You can leave it in, which our girls prefer, but I would have to have it out if I was going up there, so it does pull out. Actually, I don't want to go up there, but they love it. Okay, so here's the loft, and it's really pretty big. It is the size of a queen bed minus that corner back there, so we have three or three middle kind of girls sleep here and they love it. They have all their little stuff organized in baskets and bins and magazine holders up there. So here is our restroom. It does not have a lock. So I added this fun occupied vacant sign. We do actually use that. And if it says occupied, we give a big knock and make sure if somebody's in there or not. In the bathroom, we redid the shower. It, well, we used the same shell. It was brown and tan, so we used an epoxy. This was the only thing we hired out and did not do ourselves because we were a little nervous to tackle it. So we hired a painter friend of ours to do it and she did a great job and turned it white for us in the sink as well, which we really like. We've got keep our toilet paper up here, plenty of storage here for toothbrushes and such. And down here we keep our towels. All right, this is the master bedroom. We really like it. My favorite part is uh, washer and dryer. That was a must have for me. I wanted that over two bathrooms and people were like, y'all are nuts. How are you doing an RV with one bathroom with 10 kids? But for me, I'd take the washer and dryer in one bathroom any day. So we run this, I'd say on average twice a day, some days five times, some days zero, but it probably averages out to about twice a day. So, and I also love our closet is huge. <laughs> we have a little mini baby bed in there. Don't worry, we do keep the door open always when she's in there. Um, our baby is now two though, so she, like I said, our kids are short. She actually still fits in there and she loves it, but she does sleep, I'd say half the night or half the time in the bed with us and half the time in her bed, but she likes it and she'll take naps in there and stuff. Um, but it's pretty spacious. I've got our baby's clothes, Ryan's clothes, 
we have some hanging clothes and then here's a dresser which has kind of my toiletries and then some of my clothes older clothes in there jewelry rack which i'm a jewelry girl so i like having that and i love that our bed lifts it stays up which is nice and i keep all kinds of little stuff we collect ornaments everywhere we go so i have the ornament bin and bags and wrapping paper and all that good stuff under there um here i'll show you uh we have a little bit of storage on that side of the bed which i would call those ryan's junk drawers that's where he keeps keys wallet you know all the stuff that men have uh in those also since it just came with a little side table there was some dead space under here really we can fit quite a bit we've got a basket under there he's got his toiletries under there and we also have a file box with our important documents under there so we try to utilize all spaces uh really have to with a family this size trying to live in a small space but um, that's one thing that I really enjoy doing is trying to utilize the space that I have and maximize it and make it work. So let's see. Uh, I will talk about our flooring. This is vinyl pill and stick planks. And so Ryan laid those and we really like it. There was a dark flooring and then carpet, which I don't like carpet um, anywhere. <laughs> just personal preference so we our, our RV was really nice when we bought it we just wanted to make it light and bright and happy so that's when we renovated it um I get asked a lot this gray color it is Sherwin Williams Dorian gray if you're wanting to know that and I will have to look at our white I think it was called extra white but I'll look back and try to put that below for you um, I think that's it for the interior, so we'll take you outside and show you the exterior now. Oh, I forgot to mention, you probably noticed our water bottle storage. I get asked a lot. I got these on Amazon. They're for like cleaning bottles, like cleaning spray bottles, and they're perfect. I mean, come on, five and five. We have ten kids, so... We used to have water bottles all over the place when we were just traveling for fun before we moved in. And I was like, I've got to come up with something <laughs> for those water bottles. So that's what we came up with. It's worked perfect. Here is the exterior. One thing I'll say that I get asked a lot about is where do you keep all those shoes? That's a good question. It is a lot of shoes. All the kids have three pair of shoes each. They've got a pair of Crocs, a pair of tennis shoes, and a pair of cute shoes, that boots, like cute boots. So we keep one pair in here and we all take off our shoes when we go in the RV. Keeps the mess down, it works good. People are like, do you get spiders and snakes and all that in your shoes? We don't. We've never had a problem with it, so it's worked well for us. If it starts to rain, we grab that and stick it in our under storage. Um, I'll show you in a minute where we keep our other shoes. But normally we have a rug out. They don't allow that at this RV park, but that's our preference. It also keeps some dirt out. It's just nice to have a rug down. We have a table this size that's in our RV. And we have a smaller table and often we set up both of those unless there's a table at our site so those are two things we don't have set up today that we normally do have set up uh, we keep a trash can out here because we fill our indoor trash up very quickly probably twice a day so we have outdoor trash as well all right over here we have our lovely map, which I love because it started with only Texas. So this is where we've been in the past year, which is pretty awesome. Slowly filling up our map. I love our under storage. It's huge. And we installed this tray. 
It opens on the other side so this tray can go out either way. So we have things like mop, vacuum, stuff under there. Here's our rug I was talking about. We've got Christmas decorations, our tables, um, folding chairs, all kinds of stuff. floaties, everything you can think of under here. So. This is just the hydraulic fluid tank, which operates jacks and slides. Here we keep this towel rack, which has been very convenient. Obviously there's a lot of us and I don't want that many towels hanging in our bathroom and they'd probably never dry piled up on each other. So we just bring them out here and hang them out here. Um, we have quite a bit of storage under here. This is where Ryan keeps his tools, sewer hoses, water hoses, all that good stuff. It's pushing really hard. Ah, okay. Ryan usually can't. Okay. Um, here we've got two propane tanks, which I love because if one runs out, you just turn the knob and then you can take the one that ran out and fill it up and always stay stocked with perfect. Here are our batteries. We have two. And here is the other side of that storage. So I said I would show you about shoes. So if you can zoom in on that. We have two of these and this is where we keep our extra shoes. So obviously we keep in the other thing, the shoes that we wear most, which for the kids, they like their Crocs. That's what they wear most. And you can show my shoes. I like little cute shoes. But I, honestly, I mean, I'm a woman. I usually have two or three pair of shoes in the other thing. I think I have five or six pair of shoes between here and there. Everybody else has about three though. Oh, here is, you know, where you pull to empty your water tanks and hook up your fresh water and all that good stuff. Here you've got your sewer hoses. We have two gray tanks, which is nice because you know, it holds more water. Um, this is all Ryan's alley. He's actually a master plumber. I'm so happy he fully handles this. I know a little bit about it, not much. Don't want to know much about it. His job. So, our RV is a 50 amp. So, this is our electrical hookup. And then our van is parked really close here. So, I don't know if I could even squeeze through, but this is a grill, which is awesome. And the grill swings around kind of by the outdoor kitchen which is really nice. We have a ladder on the back. You know, you gotta sweep off your slides if you get leaves or a bunch of pine cones or something on it. You wanna sweep those off before you. Um, or snow. Off, you know, or snow, <laughs> which we just did. So nice to have the ladder. If you happen to have a leak, you could get up there to check it out. So here is our outdoor kitchen. I've loved having an outdoor kitchen. We have the kids wash their hands out here when they get dirty playing around, like right now they're playing on the playground. And so we'll have them wash their hands before they come in. Again, just helps keep the inside a little bit cleaner. And we added a microwave. I'll tell you why. Uh, we don't eat a lot of Hot Pockets, but the kids love them. So we were heating up Hot Pockets inside when, really at the beginning of our journey, and we overheated our microwave, blew a fuse, and had to buy a new microwave inside. So we added one outside so that we could microwave between the two and not overwork one. There you go for a big family of 12. 
So it's got plenty of storage though. We've got our extra fridge, which we really haven't needed, but we're able to keep drinks in. So we do like it. And we buy a lot of, of the variety packs of chips. And so we kind of stack those back here too. So we really like our outdoor kitchen. Anyway, I think that's it. That's our RV. Hope you enjoyed the tour and hope you're having a great day.